The perfect rotoscoping tool doesn't exist, or does it? So I tried out Meta's new Segment Anything 2 rotoscoping tool, and the results are pretty impressive, but how does it stack up against Adobe's Rotobrush 3? Let me show you. First, I'll navigate to Meta's SAM 2 webpage, and I'll click Try It Now. They give you a demo shot to work with first, but I'd rather use my own clip, so I'll click Change Video. And I'll upload my first video here of a fast-paced parachute shot. So it says click on an object in the video to start. So I'll click on the parachute and the subject, and I'll click Track Objects. And it does a really impressive job tracking, only losing it about halfway through, but I could pick it up right where I left off. I could just add a couple more points and I'll hit track again, and it's virtually flawless. So let's look at the side-by-side -side with the Rotor Brush 3 version. Before we continue, if you guys wanna see more exclusive content from me, then check out my YouTube membership page where you can get exclusive content and early access. Check it out. All right, so here's the side-by-side. -side. I say Meta's is a little bit cleaner, but let me know your choice in the comments. Now let's do another one. This clip has a lot of motion as well, a lot of motion blur, and even some elements obstructing the view of the main subject. Let's see how it does. So first I'll move forward a bit until my bike actually comes into frame, and then I'll select my bike and subject, and I'll click track objects. And there, it looks amazing. Let's just say for argument's sake that the rotoscope had the wheels not transparent. All we have to do is click the Remove tool and click inside the wheels where we want to remove it and track again, and you've got a perfect rotoscope. All right, so here's a side-by-side -side on this one. I'd say this one's pretty close. I'd have to give this one to the rotor brush. Let me know what you think in the comments. So after seeing the side-by-side, -side, I think the results are really in Meta's favor on this one. They're really going to give Adobe a run for its money.